hi guys welcome back to my channel to my channel if you're new today we are making the flower sweater i'll insert like a little clip it's of what it looks like this sweater is i've been getting a lot of questions about it and i got the pattern from nikita nightingale and she has a youtube store if you guys want to check it out but yeah i've made this sweater a couple times it takes me about how long does it take I think if you work like constantly you can finish it in a day but it normally takes me like one to three days depending on how fast i'm working or if i'm like at school or something yeah some things about the sweater that you should know is that there are you know the flowers each flower is 25 chains so for the sleeves we're going to be making three flowers and for the body we're making four but if you don't want your sweater to be oversized or if you want it to be a little smaller you could do three sweaters i mean three flowers on the panel or if you want it to be bigger you could do five you could do however many you want but in the tutorial i'm going to be making four for the body three for the sleeve and like i said the flowers work in increments of 25 so that means that if you want to add more flowers just add 25 more chains so for the body we're chaining 100 which will get us four flowers because four times 25 is 100 but if you want five flowers you just chain 125 and for the sleeves we're chaining 75 because three times 25 is 75. today i'm going to make mine in white i've made i've made a yellow one a green one a brown one a pink one and another yellow one and now i'm going to make a white one but yeah it's a pretty easy pattern you just repeat it over and over and over again and i'll have like little chapters at the bottom of the video so you can like go back to the rows and you can remember how to do it i think that's it i think that's all i have to say okay that's all i got okay guys i'm back with the voiceover so i'm gonna be telling you guys what you need for this project I use I Love This Cotton Yarn in all of my sweater projects because I just love the way it feels and how it is just heavy and it comes down and I'm using the color Ivory this time and I use about four of these for every sweater. Then you'll need a crochet hook. I'm using a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. You can use whatever size your yarn calls for. And then lastly, scissors and optionally a darning needle and stitch markers. The darning needle and stitch markers are not required but it does make the process a lot easier and a lot faster. Okay guys, here I'm just showing you what your panels are going to look like. As you can see, this is the body panel because it has four flowers and each flower is 25. So if you want to add more flowers, just add 25 more chains. Every panel is going to have three flowers going up, but again, you can add more if you'd like. It just, it just depends on what you want. So getting started on that sleeve row, you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain 75 chains. And then after you change your 75, you're going to chain two more as your turning stitch, but you're going to keep hold of that last 75th stitch and that's where you're going to work your double crochet into. And then after that, you're going to work double crochets all the way down the entire 75 chains. Now that we've finished our row of double crochets, we're going to get into the first row of the sweater, which is these two holes that go along the bottom of the sweater. So to start off, you're going to want to chain two and turn your work, and then you're going to want to work seven double crochets starting into that first stitch that we did. Once you worked your seven double crochets, you're going to want to chain two skip two stitches and double crochet into the third stitch then we're going to do three more stitches so in total you'll have four double crochets and then after you have your four double crochets you're going to chain an additional two skip two double crochet into the third repeating what we did for the first gap
And then after that, we're gonna do 16 double crochets. So in total, it'll be 17 double crochets. And then we're gonna keep repeating this where we do chain two, skip two, double crochet into the third row. Then we'll do the four double crochets after that. And then the chain two, skip two, double crochet into the third, 17 after that. Once you get to your last row of the holes, the third row, you should end off with 10 stitches left and in 10, all 10 of those stitches you're going to work double crochets. If you don't have 10 stitches left then your count is off somewhere and just make sure that everything is right. We finished our row and this is what it looks like. It's three rows of the two gaps and now we're going to move on to the next row which is the same thing but it's three gaps this time. So to start off, you're going to want to chain two, turn your work, and then you're going to want to work double crochets in each of these stitches until you're three stitches away from the first gap. And then once you're three stitches away, you're going to chain two, skip two stitches, and double crochet into that third stitch which should be right before the gap. And then you're gonna work two double crochets into the gap. One double crochet into the stitch after the gap. Chain two. And then skip two double crochet into the third stitch, which should be right before the gap again. And then repeating that, we're going to do two double crochets into the gap and then one double crochet into the stitch after the gap. And then one more time, we're going to chain two, skip two, double crochet into the third stitch. After you've done that, you're going to work double crochets until you're again three stitches away from the gap. Once you're three stitches away, you're going to repeat the pattern of chaining two and then skipping two stitches going into the third, two double crochets into the gap, one into the stitch after the gap, chain two, Double crochet into the third stitch. Two stitches in the gap. One in the stitch after. Chain two, double crochet into the third. And then double crochets until you're three stitches away from the next gap. Moving on to row three of the panel, we're gonna be working these petals. They are the first row of petals. And to start this row, you're gonna to wanna to chain two and turn your work. And you're gonna to wanna to do one double crochet into the first stitch, chain another two, skip two, one double crochet in the third. And then you're gonna to wanna to work two double crochets into the gap one into the stitch after the gap then here you're going to chain four and you're going to work a treble crochet into that middle gap you're going to chain another four and work a double crochet into the stitch right before the next gap. After that, do two double crochets into the gap and then one double crochet into the stitch after the gap. Chain two. 
skip two, double crochet into the third, and then just work double crochets all the way across until you're three stitches away from your next gap. Once you're three stitches away, you're going to continue the same pattern with the starting with chain two, skip two, double crochet into the third, two double crochets into the gap, one into the stitch after the gap. Chain four, treble crochet into that middle gap, chain another four, double crochet into the stitch right before the gap. Then work two double crochets into the gap, one into the stitch after the gap, chain two, skip two, double crochet into the third, and there's your next flower. And you're gonna continue this pattern all the way down till the end of your row. Your row should end off with four double crochets. And now we can move on to the next row of the flower, which are these second petals. So to start, chain two, turn your work, work one double crochet into the first stitch. Chain two, skip two, double crochet into the third. Two double crochets into the gap. One double crochet into the stitch after the gap. Chain five. And work one single crochet into the, the big gap. One single crochet into the treble crochet. And then another single crochet into the next big gap. After that, chain another five. And work a double crochet into the stitch right before the gap. Into that gap, we're gonna work two double crochets. And then one double crochet into the stitch after the gap. And then you're gonna chain three because there's three double crochets underneath. You're gonna work a double crochet into the stitch right before the gap. Two double crochets into the gap, one in the stitch after. Then you're gonna chain five, single crochet into the big gap, single crochet into the treble crochet, single crochet in the big gap again, chain five, double crochet into the stitch right before the next gap. Two double crochets into the gap, one into the stitch after. Chain three. Double crochet into the stitch right before the gap. And we're just repeating this pattern over and over again until you get to the end of your row. Your row should end off with four double crochets. Now we can move on to row five of the flower, which are these bigger petals. So for this row, you're gonna chain six and then chain two more because we're not working a double crochet into that first stitch. So this chain two will work as our first double crochet. Then you're gonna work a single crochet into the first petal, the first gap. 
and then you're going to work one single crochet into the three single crochets we did in the last row. And then another single crochet into that gap. And you're going to chain six. And work a double crochet into the stitch right before the gap. And you're going to work three double crochets into the gap since we chained three our last row. Then work one into the stitch after. And we're just going to repeat this. So chain six. Single crochet into the gap. Then your one single crochet in all three stitches. One single crochet into the gap. Chain six. Double crochet into the stitch right before the gap. Work three double crochets into the gap. One into the stitch after. And just repeat that till you finish your row. You should finish your row. When you finish your row, you're gonna work two double crochets into the gap and then one into the stitch. So it should end off with four double crochets in total. So now we finished all of our counting rows. So now we're gonna count backwards. So we're basically gonna do the reverse of what we just did. So we've finished the hard parts. You won't need to learn anything else new. We're just gonna be repeating everything we've done backwards. So we're working on row six and row six is just a repetition of row four where we chain five and worked three single crochets. So to start chain two plus two more for your double crochet because we're not going to double crochet into that first stitch. Skip two, work into the third stitch with a double crochet. Then in the first petal, you're going to work three double crochets. And then you're going to chain five and work three single crochets. So we're going to be decreasing. So you're going to skip the first single crochet and work a single crochet into the second one. Work another single crochet in, and then one more single crochet into the next stitch. Chain five. We're not going to be single crocheting into the last stitch. And then work three double crochets into the petal. Now work one double crochet into the stitch after the petals. Chain three. Skip three stitches, work into the fourth. And restart that all over again. Do three double crochets into the petal. Chain five. Skip the first single crochet, work into the second. Work into the third single crochet. And then lastly, the fourth single crochet, skipping that fifth one, chain another five and work three double crochets into the petal once more. One double crochet into the stitch after the petal. Chain three. Double crochet into the stitch right before the gap. And just keep repeating this row till you make it to the end. Once you get to the end, you're going to chain five and work your three double crochets into the petal like normal. Chain 
and then we're going to work one double crochet into that chain stitch so in total we'll have four double crochets last row of the flower so you're going to chain two turn your work work a double crochet into that first stitch chain two skip two double crochet into the third and you're going to work three double crochets into the gap chain four and you're going to work a treble crochet into the middle of that single crochet so the second single crochet we're going to work a treble crochet chain four three double crochets into the petal one double crochet into the stitch after the petal chain two work into the third double crochet and then work three double crochets into the gap because it is a chain three space one double crochet into the stitch after the gap chain two skip two work it to the third we're just repeating what we've done three double crochets into the flower petal chain four triple crochet into that second single crochet chain four work three double crochets into that petal one double crochet into the stitch after the petal chain two skip two work into the third stitch and just keep repeating this till you get to the end of your row Your row should end off with four double crochets and now we can move on to the three gaps again to start chain two turn your work and you're gonna work all the way across until you're three stitches away from the petal putting two double crochets into the gap where you're gonna chain two, skip two, go into the third with a double crochet, and there's your first hole. Now you're gonna work three double crochets into the flower petal. Chain another two, double crochet three into the next flower petal. Work a double crochet into the stitch after the petal. Chain two again. Skip two, work it to the third. Work two into the gap. One into the stitch after. And just keep doing double crochets until you're three stitches away from your next petal. And you're just gonna keep repeating this. Working a chain two, skip two, work into the stitch right before the petal. Work three double crochets into the petal. Chain two, work three more into the second petal. One into the stitch after the petal. Chain two, skip two, work into the third with a double crochet. And just continue this pattern all the way across your panel.
For the next row, we're going to do the two holes. So it's the same thing, except it's two this time. And to start off, you're gonna chain two, work double crochets all the way through after that gap. So work your four double crochets, and then your two into the gap, one after the gap. Then you'll chain two, skip two, go into the third. Work into the gap once more with two double crochets. One double crochet into the stitch after. Chain two, skip two, work into the third. Two double crochets into the gap. One into the stitch after the gap. And then you're gonna work double crochets all the way across your row until you've passed your first gap of the three, repeating what we did. So again, it's just working two double crochets into that first gap, one into the stitch after. Chaining two, skipping two, working into the third. Work two into the gap, one into the stitch after the gap. Chain two, skip two, work into the third. And then work all the way across like normal until you're onto your last flower. So that's how you work this flower pattern. You're going to repeat this two more times for a total of three flowers. And I will come back to you guys whenever I'm finished. So here's the final result of the, the sleeve panel. And we're going to make two of these. So go ahead and repeat this for the other panel. And uh, now I'm going to show you guys how to make the body panel in the size that we're making it in. So it's the exact same thing as the sleeve panel, but instead of chaining 75, we're going to chain 100. And we're gonna continue our pattern like normal, except the only difference is we've added one more flower. So this means that on the first row, instead of three groups of two holes, we'll have four groups of two holes and everything will be four instead of three. So you're just gonna repeat the sleeve pattern, but it's just gonna be one more flower. And I'll meet you guys when I'm done with that. So now you should have two sleeve panels and two body panels and now we're going to connect them. You can use slip stitches or single crochets but I prefer using a darning needle because I find that it's much easier and it still looks pretty clean. And then you'll also need stitch markers. You don't need them but I find that it's it just makes it easier to line everything up when you have stitch markers to help out. So what you're going to do is you're going to find where you want the top of your top to be and you're going to put the two body panels together and you can stitch them at the beginning so they can hold together and all you have to do is put you can put stitch markers or you can just hold it but you can put it against your shoulders and you can find out where you want your neck to stop i like my neck to be a little bit off the shoulder but for this top i did a little less off the shoulder so i did 27 stitches i connected 27 stitches but if you wanted it to be a little more off the shoulder you could do less than that you could do 20 or 15 it just depends on where you want your shoulders where you want the top to stop on your shoulders so after i put my stitch markers i'm just getting a long tail and cutting it and then i'm connecting it to the end of my piece on both sides and i'm just going to put it on my darning needle and I'm just going to work through my stitches for 27 stitches on both sides. And I'll show you guys what that looks like whenever it's completed. So this is what it looks like on me for the 27 stitches. Again, you could do more or less, it just depends on how you want it, but I thought this was pretty good for what I wanted to accomplish. And then moving on to connecting the sleeves, you're going to turn, you're going to open up your top and you're going to put the wrong side facing up. 
so where the stitches are very visible you're going to put that facing upwards and then i'll put a little diagram or a picture of how you kind of connect it but you're going to open up your sleeve and you're you're going to find the middle of your sleeve panel and connect it to the middle of your body panel and then i use stitch markers to hold it together and then i just sew it all the way down So this is what it should look like when it's done and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So once we've done that, I'm just going to pick up my top and fold it in half making sure that the wrong side is still facing upwards and I'm just going to put stitch markers connecting the sleeve to itself and the body to itself and then I just go from the bottom of the sleeve and work all the way up the sleeve and then all the way down the body and do that on the other side as well and I'm sewing in my loose ends as I go because especially with this top, your loose ends can add up and just be really tedious at the end. So I'm just kind of going as I work. And yeah, that's it. That's how you make the crochet flower sweater. Okay guys, here's the final result of the top. All you have to do is flip it inside out and this is what we're left with. I think it's so adorable. And yeah. Yes, I did film that whole YouTube video on my bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. Comment down below. Comment down below any questions, concerns, anything. And let me know what color you guys did this in. And if you posted anywhere, tag me because I want to see. But yeah, 